My name's Nigel Stearmy. I'm 42 next month. I lasted out my 12 month of um, being a cancerous sufferer. As far as I know, everything's going good. I uh, went to the hospital two weeks Friday, just gone, and they gave me some good news that my results were showing that the tumour isn't spreading. It's remained in what they call uh, remission at the moment, but they said it could come back any time, you know, but I've got to keep an eye on it, you know, so like a slight headache or anything, I've got to go and see my doctor as soon as possible. They first told me that I had nine to 12 months to live. Now I've had the good news that I'm not so much in remission, but I need to keep an eye on my tumour. So yeah, I'm really happy with that because they said that the results, that uh, the scans that um, I had on my tumour that were eight months old uh, were showing the irregularities of the size of the tumour and it was down to the size of a two, uh, five pence piece and he said it's smaller than that now. I'm not having any treatment at the moment because I was on radiotherapy and chemotherapy before Christmas last year. I was on that for six weeks and then I was on it again for six months from January till June, I think it was. And that was the chemo tablets. I took them once a month. It did make me feel ill, more tired than ill-like because <laughs> uh, I lost my appetite. Obviously, I can't do things that I want to do, but I, I have um, people supporting me all the way through my disability. I do go out, you know, my um, mate picks me up, drives me where I need to go. But yeah, I, I spend most of the time in the house. I enjoy my own company for the moment, like, so. <laughs> but I, I would like to see my little lad take him on holiday, but it's like having the money to do it, <laughs> so. Yeah, I got a son that's 10 and it was very heartbreaking telling him uh, because I wanted to tell him by myself but my brother was actually here which I think was a bit, you know, he had somebody to cuddle up to because he knew he couldn't cuddle up to me because he knew, knew about, he didn't know about my illness but my, the thing that hurt me was when I to actually told him and he says, well who's going to be my daddy now? Pearl was a Staffordshire Bull Terrier and she was just over a year old and the Dogs Trust come and picked her up uh, within two days of me having my last interview with you and then a couple from Newcastle Underline, they had the cat and we still keep in touch. I want to take a course on computers or photography. At the moment I'm looking through the prospectus to see what I can do because um, I've got to watch because I'm still prone to epileptic fits. Touch wood that I haven't had a, an epileptic fit in eight weeks. So they've got to, I've got to see the doctor today to get my medication altered. But I'm just praying God that I'm still here. <laughs>